if you um like so with your diet over the next ten weeks, do you is that just your calories reduce overall? <coughs> okay, uh, so I do kind of a, a modified paleo slash carb cycling. Um, it's my own take. Uh, in previous years, I've done keto. I've done a couple of variations. Um, I call it modified paleo because I do have carb days in there, so that's why I call it carb cycling as well. Uh, I call it paleo because I also do uh, uh, lots of fats and protein. Um, <coughs> so I've always done fats and protein, but I tend to drop off. I have days where I drop off my fats so that I dig into fat reserves, and then I have, and then after that, uh, I'm very flat, and I might have two or three carb days. So as an example, today's a Monday, so it's my first deplete day. I'll have a deplete day on Tuesday. I'll have a deplete day on Wednesday. That simply means I have about 500 grams of protein, negligible fats. Well, I shouldn't say negligible, but I don't add fats. So it'd be the fats I get from meats. Um, so I don't, I won't add to it. I won't have nuts. I won't have, I might have some fish oils. I'll have two fish oils with every meal. And then on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, they're my carb day. So carbs can be as high as 5,500 calories. Thursday might be 5,500 calories because I'm very flat. It might drop to 5,000 on the Friday and the Saturday might drop to about uh, 4,500, 4,600 calories. The Sunday is my fats and protein day. Um, calories will be about 4,400, 4,500. And, so, and, so, and then it goes back to my deplete days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And these days I have probably about 2,000 calories, 2,200 calories, no more than that.